Hello, today I'm covering how to handle end-to-end -end delay with end links between sender and receiver for a single packet given its size, link transmission rate, and total distance between links. First, we have to know what we're dealing with. Here we can see that there is a sender trying to send a package to a receiver, but there are end links between them, which use the store and forward method to either get to the next link or their end goal, the receiver. Let's work through a problem. Suppose there are five routers in sequence between host A and B, all of which use the store and forward routing method. What is the total end-to-end -end delay for a packet originating from host A with a destination of host B under the, under the following conditions? Each of the link transmission rates are 1.8 megabytes per second, the total distance between host A and host B along its path of transmission is 184.7 kilometers. The speed of propagation through the transmission medium is 2.5 times 10 to the eighth meters per second, and the package size is 2 kilobytes. Let's break this down. First, there are five routers, which means that there will be a total of six jumps or transfers before the packet will ever re reach our receiver. Second, the total distance that our packet has to travel is 184.7 kilometers. Third, our link transmission rates are 1.8 megabytes per second along all of the transmissions until the sender packet gets to the receiver. Fourth, our speed of propagation is 2.5 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And lastly, the packet size that we are transferring is two kilobytes. With this organized information, let's calculate our transmission delay. First, let's convert the package size into bits, equaling 16,384 bits. Second, let's convert the link transmission rate from megabytes per second to bits per second. By dividing our converted package size and link transmission rate, we get 9.1022 milliseconds, which is our transmission delay. Next, let's calculate our propagation delay. First, we can divide our total distance by the number of transfers that occur. Even though the number of routers in the question is 5, the total number of transfers is six. We can get this by looking at our visualization and noticing the gaps or transfers that have to happen between each of the five routers and our destinations. This means that our total propagation delay is our divided distance divided by the propagation speed yielding 0 0.1231 milliseconds. Now we have our transmission delay and our propagation delay. By adding these together and then multiplying by the number of transfers being six, we get our final answer of 55.35 milliseconds. Although it seems like previously dividing by six and then multiplying it back in later is redundant, in the event that the distances between links or transmission rates were different between the links, it is good to get into the habit of looking at a problem this way. Thank you.